Well, rising fuel costs are something that will affect uh, many of us, all of us. Uh, the organisation Advice Direct Scotland found that 65% of Scots who took part in a survey say they have limited their energy use so they can afford to spend money on food and services. Alex Isaac has been to a cafe in Gallas Shields that's trying to reduce the gap between food poverty and food waste. It's not just the cost of energy that's on the increase, it's generally the cost of living as well. And that includes food. Supermarkets have already put a price increase on some foods. Now, this extra pressure on households could mean that some people are having to choose between heat or food. Now, joining me is Amy from Cafe Recharge. Now, Amy, have you seen this increase coming into the, into the cafe? Yes, I mean, even the basic items are going up. In fact, they're the ones that are going up the most. Um, things like pasta, rice, baked beans. Um, and it's becoming a real issue that people can't even afford the basics now. And the people that are coming in here, are they worried about their future? Definitely, yeah. Um, I think there's a feeling of impending doom that people just don't know how they're going to make ends meet. And you've been open now for the last uh, year here in uh, Gala Shields, and you're using unsold produce. Are you still seeing loads of produce being thrown away? Yes, we are. Um, fruit, vegetables, meat, either up to its best before date or on its use by date that we can then freeze and process later. Um, but there is a phenomenal amount of fruit and vegetables that are being thrown away. So if they're being thrown away, then you know, why was this increase coming? Are you trying to make sure that people here at least can eat? Yes, we offer food to anyone, regardless of their income, as it's a pay-what-you-can cafe. Um, and we are offering veg boxes this week, um, just using the surplus that we have. We've seen a real increase in food banks, especially in this region. Do you think that this is actually helping other people as well? I think so, yes. Um, we have our community freezer and our community shelf that people can access, um, and a community fridge as well. So it takes the pressure off food banks a bit, and people can come in and choose what they what is useful to them as a family, as opposed to just living on handouts. But there's a real worry that you know, people are going to step, potentially to have to choose between the heat and the food. Have you seen this already? Are you worried about the future? I'm very worried about the future. Um, we've got a double income, um, but we're still struggling. So I don't know how people less fortunate are going to manage. And people that are coming in here, are you able to give them some advice? Um, we can offer advice. Um, or, or we can signpost them to people who can help them. Thanks, Amy. And with the cost of living generally rising, it's likely we're going to see more places like this cafe throughout our region. Alex Isaac, ITV News.